Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. We have been discussing about olefin polymerization and in particular we have covered uh, ethylene polymerization and propylene polymerization uh, in the last few lectures. With regard to uh, both of these ethylene uh, polymerization as well as uh, uh, propylene polymerization we have come a long way. Let me uh, just uh, briefly summarize as to what has been discussed uh, so far and that uh, where do you proceed uh, from here. And uh, what we have seen is uh, for with respect to ethylene uh, uh, we have uh, have made uh, polyethylene of various uh, types uh, and for these uh, there had been uh, two types of catalyst mainly Uh, so, this is uh, the famous uh, ziegler natta catalyst whereas uh, and these are mainly a multi site homogeneous catalyst sorry heterogeneous catalyst. Yes, catalyst and uh, we have also uh, seen a, a metallocene catalyst and they are uh, uh, of uh, the formula MAO they are of the formula M equals uh, uh, group 4 transition metal as well as X can be halide alkyl uh, uh, alkyl and so on so forth and these are called metallocene catalyst. And uh, they are homogeneous in nature. and uh, they provide narrow PDI, narrow PDI polymer whereas, the heterogeneous uh, pro provide broad uh, PDI uh, polymer uh, and these are single, single site catalysts. site catalyst. So, uh, these and the system evolved uh, from uh, one to other. So, these are the two catalysts, uh, two types of catalyst. Uh, one can is heterogeneous, homogeneous, uh, ziegler natta uh, uh, metallocene, uh, uh, so broad PDI, narrow PDI, uh, high activity, low activity. Uh, so, these are the two types of uh, the catalyst trajectory uh, uh, that we have uh, discussed. Now, using these two catalysts, uh, we had uh, done uh, elaborate study on polyethylene polymerization. Uh, using this, uh, we have also uh, looked at Uh, these are polypropylene, uh, it can be isotactic, atactic or syndiotactic depending on the distribution. Uh, uh, and we had uh, seen how the catalyst uh, evolved uh, uh, for uh, uh, both of these uh, uh, type of catalysis and uh, each of these uh, both uh, uh, the ziegler natta type as well as uh, the metallocene types uh, were equally capable uh, of carrying out uh, uh, this kind of polyethylene polymerization in a very nice uh, way and broad uh, way. We had also uh, discussed another interesting example which is uh, 
and uh, the catalyst is a, a, a metallocene catalyst eta 5. So, uh, we had also seen uh, this uh, phenyl indenyl uh, zirconium uh, dichloride with MAO uh, that uh, giving atactic isotactic stereo blocks. isotactic stereo product polymer polypropylene. Uh, so, uh, so uh, what we saw uh, a nice application of uh, various types of polymer uh, being produced on demand and at will using uh, uh, some variation of uh, these uh, 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 two type of uh, 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 catalyst one is heterogeneous and homogeneous where one can produce not only polyethylene of various grades not only similarly polypropylene of various grades one can also have uh, a stereo block polymer of different uh, tacticity attached on the same polymer chain. Uh, using uh, uh, these uh, catalysis. So, this is a nice demo fine demonstration of the scope and capability uh, of organometallic chemistry uh, 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 that uh, 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 is uh, uh, that can be put in use. Uh, so, fantastic uh, demonstration uh, that champions uh, uh, the field of organometallic chemistry uh, uh, um, uh, for utility uh, in achieving very diff uh, different uh, difficult or challenging uh, reactions. So, today having covered all of this today uh, we are going to uh, uh, take a look at uh, 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 two uh, more uh, types of polymerization uh, uh, particularly uh, 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 the ones that I am uh, 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 talk about. So, we have uh, talked about three types of polymerization process one, two, three the fourth one that we would uh, talk about is uh, uh, polymerization between olefin and alpha olefin uh, resulting in polyethylene co alpha olefin polymer. So, uh, uh, this uh, is a polymer uh, that uh, is obtained from copolymerization of two different monomers this is one another one and uh, the polymer would have now uh, uh, two fragments uh, one is the polyethylene fragments as well as uh, uh, the polyolefin uh, uh, fragments uh, and the fifth one that uh, uh, we would uh, talk about is a copolymerization of olefin with functional monomers so in that case again one may have ethylene plus another polyolefin with functional group. Functional group means uh, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, uh, 
are hetero atom containing functional mode groups brings polyethylene copolymer uh, functional group uh, uh, polymer. So, here too uh, there are uh, two, uh, two monomers, one is this functional group uh, uh, bearing uh, olefin uh, copolymerizing giving polyolefin and uh, monomer inserted functional group uh, polymer. Uh, so, uh, the emphasis uh, then uh, uh, became important uh, for developing such types of polymer. Now, one reason for such development is uh, that uh, uh, the surface properties uh, becomes different one uh, when one uh, goes for copolymerization. For example, uh, uh, for the fifth process uh, uh, since uh, the functional uh, group uh, is present. So, the copolymer backbone would have a functional group and functional groups are usually a, a polar uh, in nature. So, that will render hydrophilicity to the polymer. Uh, so, any uh, polymer with hydrophilic uh, application uh, for those uh, purpose this functionalization uh, co copolymerization with olefins and uh, alpha olefins bearing functional groups are important because all of these polymers as one sees they are all hydrophobic in nature. Whereas, uh, if one can make a polymer uh, with surface functionalized uh, uh, functional group then those polymers would uh, in instead uh, be hydrophilic in nature. So, uh, these uh, um, are uh, uh, the reasons where uh, which led to uh, the need for uh, being able to copolymerize olefins with alpha olefins as well as ethylene with uh, a monomer bearing functional group. Just to illustrate my point uh, about the hydrophilicity, uh, for example, all of these, uh, all of these, uh, uh, this, uh, all of these from here all the way up to here, they are hydrophobic. Whereas, uh, the, uh, the, 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 this last one uh, will be hydrophilic. Uh, because of the presence of the functional group on the polymer uh, backbone. So, uh, to illustrate my point, let me just uh, 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 explain this with this cartoon. So, if uh, 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 one makes a film with uh, poly polyphen uh, P E or P P uh, versus uh, one makes uh, uh, another film uh, with uh, uh, with uh, uh, P, uh, uh, copolymerized P E copolymerized F G uh, monomer. So, with a film with this uh, polymer, uh, uh, this surface is hydrophilic, whereas uh, poly, pure polyethylene uh, surface uh, is hydrophobic and if one puts a, a drop of water molecule on top of it. So, the water molecule this being a hydro will have a, a concave surface because it will not wet the polymer surface. Whereas, uh, 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 for uh, this kind of uh, uh, polyolefin uh, with a functional group, uh, uh, if one puts a water on it, uh, so it will uh, uh, be hydrophilic and it will uh, uh, have a shape like this. So, uh, in this case the water uh, uh, the water will wet uh, the surface that means it will spread uh, over a larger area of the uh, poly uh, olefin monomer surface, whereas uh, water uh, uh, will be limited uh, uh, because this being hydrophobic, uh, uh, the water will just uh, 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 have a minimum surface contact with this polyethylene or polypropylene surface. And one can uh, uh, do lot of experiments uh, to demonstrate uh, 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 the uh, the wetness of the surface, and one is called contact angle measurement, where 
they uh, measure this angle uh, between the water surface and the polymer, uh, which is called the contact angle. Uh, that will give uh, uh, some uh, uh, indication as to how uh, uh, wet uh, uh, this uh, surface or to what extent the functional monomer has been incorporated uh, in the uh, uh, catalyst. So now, uh, uh, now this, uh, this provides uh, 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 the basic uh, 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 platform uh, based on which further development of these two uh, polymerization. Uh, one is uh, olefin uh, with alpha olefin and olefin with uh, alpha olefin bearing functional monomers uh, were to be done. Now, uh, when uh, one talks about uh, this uh, uh, polymerizing uh, olefin and uh, olefin with uh, uh, alpha olefins or one talks about polymerizing olefin and olefin with uh, functional monomers which is a, which is a uh, functional group uh, using uh, the catalyst uh, which is uh, uh, ziegler natta uh, uh, catalyst or uh, metallocene catalyst uh, then the uh, challenges uh, which one faces are different uh, for example, uh, uh, yeah, for example, if one were to consider this uh, case of uh, for example, if one were to consider uh, this case of uh, polymerizing copolymerizing olefin with the functional group, uh, then uh, the problem which one faces is that this functional group bearing oxygen, nitrogen, uh, sulfur atoms, they uh, compete uh, uh, in binding to the vacant site of this catalyst. Each of these catalysts would have a uh, vacant site, may be depicted by this, metallocene also have a vacant site. So they compete, uh, uh, the functional group competes with binding to this vacant site as well as uh, of, uh, of the olefin and uh, the olefin of the functional group. And it so happens that uh, this uh, functional group binding to the uh, Lewis acidic metal center, this uh, 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 outweighs uh, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the binding of the uh, olefin uh, to the vital site. So this binds uh, over here and as a result, uh, uh, the functional group poisons the catalyst. As a result, uh, the functional uh, group uh, uh, poisons the uh, catalyst. Uh, uh, both the functional group and olefin mighty we compete. for the free coordination sites. Huh. Uh, well, uh, site and thus uh, the functional group acts as a poison, uh, acts as a, a poison uh, for these uh, catalysts. Uh, so uh, what happens is this functional group uh, binds uh, more uh, strongly to this Lewis acidic site uh, over here as well as uh, uh, over here and uh, it poisons the metallocene catalyst and does not allow the polymerization. Uh, so that is a nascent uh, uh, challenge for this type of uh, uh, copolymerization processes and what it turns out that uh, these uh, poisoning uh, uh, 
uh, this poisoning uh, of the, uh, the, uh, the catalyst, uh, catalyst poisoning by uh, this functional group is uh, more prominent uh, for Ziegler-Natta catalyst than for metallocin uh, catalyst. Uh, catalyst poisoning is more prominent for Ziegler Natta catalyst than uh, for metallocin catalyst. Uh, so, this is a uh, interesting uh, observation that uh, in both the cases, uh, in this case as well as uh, in this case as well, uh, uh, this uh, 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 poisoning do happen, but uh, the poisoning uh, of Ziegler Natta catalyst uh, uh, is more uh, acute and more uh, prominent. Uh, 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 and wins over. And taking advantage of this uh, 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 process, Weymouth in 1992 uh, uh, reported uh, the following uh, polymerization where uh, uh, one could uh, produce, uh, one could do uh, uh, polymerization of alpha olefins. And a bearing functional monomer. So, what Weymouth did taking advantage of this process, Weymouth did homopolymerization of just this functional group using uh, metallocene uh, catalyst. So, uh, the Weymouth uh, chemistry using CP star 2 zirconium methyl methyl boron C6 F5 whole 3 and this is called Jordan's cation uh, 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 way mouth polymerized. Wema uh, pol uh, polymerized this heteroatom uh, bearing uh, 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 heteroatom bearing uh, 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 amino uh, functionalized alpha olefin. So, uh, this was a, a great discovery a belt on which uh, uh, people went back and started working on the copolymerization. Even though this is a, a homopolymerization of alpha olefin bearing functional group. Uh, this was a big discovery, uh, this was a big discovery by itself because now uh, what uh, Weymouth, this was reported by Weymouth in 1992, what Weymouth uh, demonstrated is that uh, these uh, metallocene uh, catalyst, uh, Weymouth uh, uh, demonstrated that this metallocene catalyst uh, can homopolymerize uh, uh, alpha olefins uh, and the functional group uh, uh, did not poison, uh, functional group did not poison the metallocene catalyst, uh, this metallocene catalyst and was 
uh, uh, able uh, uh, to give uh, uh, the homopolymer, homopolymer bearing functional group. So, uh, this was a very uh, important and interesting uh, discovery uh, which uh, sort of led way uh, to the parent problem. Mm, the parent problem was of being able uh, uh, to uh, copolymerize uh, uh, first ethylene with alpha olefin and then ethylene with uh, alpha olefin bearing uh, functional group. So, uh, uh, this uh, copolymerization uh, was further uh, developed on the backbone of Weymouth's results uh, which could uh, polymerize uh, alpha olefins bearing functional group. So, with this uh, we come to the end uh, of uh, uh, today's lecture and what we have demonstrated is uh, the fine uh, 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 fit of organometallic uh, chemistry uh, and how the organometallic chemistry uh, organometallic catalyst triumph over uh, 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 the uh, requirement uh, for producing different types of uh, polyethylene polymer and we had seen that how uh, this catalyst evolved uh, on uh, uh, going from polymerizing uh, ethylene or propylene by themselves which are called homopolymerization uh, and then pro, uh, providing several grades of the homopolymerized uh, products. And then finally, how the uh, need for developing copolymer with uh, more uh, polar surfaces and polyolefin uh, backbone uh, uh, was uh, uh, developed and addressing that uh, uh, the challenges which remained was this functional groups were actually poisoning. Uh, the catalyst, but one observation was made that uh, the extent of poisoning was more significant for Ziegler Nata uh, catalyst heterogeneous than for metallocene catalyst. And taking advantage of this knowledge, uh, uh, what Weymouth first did is the paved way for uh, developing uh, this further with copolymerization. And what Weymouth showed was taking a metallocene catalyst, he could successfully uh, uh, um, uh, copoly homopolymerize alpha olefins bearing amine functional group uh, albeit in modest yield. So, uh, with this uh, I come to the conclusion of today's lecture, we are going to be talking more about this homopolymerization and uh, copolymerization uh, uh, with uh, uh, olefins and alpha olefins and olefins and alpha olefins bearing functional group, uh, how this really uh, took off and how the, uh, uh, more improved catalyst uh, uh, were um, developed uh, for the copolymerization uh, process. Uh, all of these interesting stuff uh, and when we meet next. Uh, uh, until then, uh, uh, goodbye and thank you.